Welcome to the Primo Analytics tutorial on editing and analysis on my dashboard. In the last tutorial, we saw how to add a report to my dashboard, how to add text to that report, and change the page label. In this tutorial, we're going to edit the analysis that produces this report. Let's first navigate to this report on my dashboard by going to Dashboards, My Dashboard. On the Facets page, we can see a report that shows us the number of times specific facets were used. I can see this data is grouped by month. And here on our training server, it looks like we saw the most facet usage in October of 2015. I can also see which facets were used the most. It looks like the top-level facets got the most usage. The top-level facets include the facets in the Show Only section, Peer Review Journals, Full Text Online, and Available in the Library. While this report is useful in analyzing monthly usage of facets, I'd like to take a different look at how these facets are being used. Instead of seeing usage by month, I'd like to see usage by the facets themselves. To do this, let's edit the analysis. First, I would go to Page Options at the top right of the screen. Then, I'd select Edit Dashboard. While I am not going to edit the dashboard itself, this is the quickest way to get to the analysis. In the main part of the screen, we have our Facet Usage Example Compound View. This is the analysis we want to edit. I would ensure my mouse is over the Facet Usage Example box. Notice that the box turns yellow. Then I would click on the Properties button, then select Edit Analysis. I'm now in the Edit Analysis screen. In this tutorial, I am just going to edit the graph. I would click on the pencil icon to edit the view, and when I do so, you'll notice that the main part of the screen now consists of two separate panes. The top shows the graph, and the bottom shows the layout. Let's focus on the layout pane. I'm going to scroll down so then I can see the bar graph section, and here I have my bars. I can see right now the group by has month in it. I want to group by the facet type instead of the month, so I'm going to click on the facet type box, hold my mouse button down, and drag it up to the group by section. Notice that I have a blue bar that shows where this box will be dropped if I let go of the mouse button. I want facet type here, so I let go of the mouse, and now up above I can see my graph changed in response to the change in the layout. Now I'll move the month date field into the bottom section by clicking on the box, holding it down, and moving it to be positioned just above the measure labels. There. The graph above is now showing facet usage by the facet type. I'd like to make one more change, this time to the appearance of the graph. I think it would look better if the bars were horizontal instead of vertical. To make this change, I would go to my graph section and click on Stacked Vertical. Notice that I now get a drop-down with several options. I'm now going to select Stacked Horizontal, and my graph changes again. If I wanted to undo all of my changes, I could click Revert, but I'm happy with my changes, so I'm going to click Done. This brings me back to the Edit Analysis screen. If I click on Return to My Dashboard, a pop-up appears telling me that if I leave this page, I will lose the changes that I've made unless I cancel and click Save. I'm going to click to stay on this page and I'm going to save my analysis by clicking on the Save icon at the top right of the screen. But wait, there's an error. Right now, what I'm trying to do is save an analysis that I copied from the out-of-the-box reports. In other words, in the last tutorial, 
when I moved a copy of this report to my dashboard, I did not create a new copy of the report. I just created a space on the dashboard that pointed to the original report. This means that now that I've changed the analysis, I need to save the analysis in my reports. I'm going to click OK, then click Save As. Since I'm not going to save or change any objects in the shared folders, I need to go up to My Folders. I could create a new folder, but for now I'm just going to save this analysis in the main directory. Before I click OK, I need to check this box here so that it replaces the analysis in my dashboard. If I don't check this box, my dashboard is still going to refer back to the original report. I click OK, and now I'm returned to my dashboard to see the results of the new analysis. Thank you for watching this tutorial. To see how to create a new analysis, please continue on to the next tutorial, Primo Analytics, Creating a New Analysis.